in this problem we are trying to organize data in some form that we can easily understand so part a so we will ask that to construct frequency distribution and relative frequency distribution and in part b uh, we have to draw bar graph the data is given in the form of like say names of colors so to answer uh, part a or construct frequency distribution and relative frequency distribution so we have to make a table so a table in a way that in one column it will represent the name of the color and then next how many time it appears in this data So we have these total like uh, 20 colors, okay? So our table would look like something like this one here. So we would have color here, right? And then frequency and then relative frequency. So if you see that our colors are like purple, green, red, blue, and then we have yellow, okay? So what we do is that we write down those names of the colors here like purple, green, blue, red, and then yellow. Right? So next in the frequency we have to see that you know how many times purple appears in this data. Right? So if you count it, so purple is like one, two, three. So three times. So what I will do is that I will write this three in next to purple. So next is uh, green. So how many times green appears in this data? So like one, two, three, and four. So there are four. So green color appears four times in this data. Next is blue, and uh, you can see that blue would be like uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, and seven. So blue is appearing there seven times. Yeah, seven, and then red. One. Two, three, four, five. So five times. And then yellow, yellow appears just one time. So write one here. So this data here, right? So table till this point is your frequency distribution table. Okay. So each color and the number of time it appears in the data right this is what it means by frequency distribution but we would also ask that uh, find uh, uh, construct a relative frequency distribution so for this one so we would see that first uh, sum this up how many total number of colors are so if you add this up so this is 20 So there are total 20 colors and relative frequency means that say for example for purple air has a frequency 3 so relative means that 3 out of what so that is 3 out of 20 right so we would write as 3 out of 20 and if you write in terms of decimal so that would be uh, 0 0.15 so 0 0.15 Uh, similarly 4 out of 20 so what we do is that we just write down their decimal value so 4 out of 20 so that is 0 0.20 then 7 out of 20 so that is 0 0.35 and then we have uh, uh, red that is 5 out of 20 so that is 0 0.25 and then yellow 1 out of 20 so that is 0 0.05 so this 
So that's your relative frequency distribution table, right? So this column together with these colors, right? So in order to just make sure that uh, you have not made any mistakes, most likely. So what you do is that you add these relative frequency distribution column, and this must be equal to one. Right? Next, part B. So we have to draw this bar graph. So in order to draw the graph, so let me bring in this graph paper here. Right? So I will keep this uh, table with me. See that? So why if I have a vertical line and then a horizontal line? In the horizontal line, I draw color there. So like purple, green, blue, red, and yellow. And on the vertical line, I would be drawing a frequency. Say, if you see here from the table, right? So first go with like, say, you see that numbers are like 3, 4, 7, 5, 1, right? So it means that, so I would, my frequency numbers would go like this one, say, 1 here. So this would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So first start with the purple. So purple has a frequency 3, so it would go this. Height would be this one. Right, so. And uh, you can like say highlight it, like with the lines or can fill in with the color or something. So this is your bar for purple color. And then for green color, so if you remember here, uh, let me show you this back here. So green color has a frequency 4, so it would go to the height 4. So, so this one here. Next, blue blue has a frequency 7, so you go till 7, 7 is here. And next is red. So red has a frequency 5, so I would go like 5 is till this height. And then yellow, so yellow has a frequency 1, so its height would be 1. Right, so this would be called uh, bar graph for this given data.